Let's be honest, although you're using such powerful AI agents like Cloud Code or Cursor, you're not solving the bugs you find. And I know exactly why you're going to Cloud Code and just typing fix this bug. The problem isn't the AI agent, it's how you're using it. Today, I'll show you three proven methods that will probably solve any bug you encounter. A short note before we start. No matter which AI coding agent you're using, this video is for you. I'll show examples with Cloud Code, Codex and Cursor. But honestly, the real value here is the concept behind it all. Let's jump right into it. For our example, I generated a bug in alldevneeds.com, which is a free website for developer tools. In JSON formatter tool, the copy button is not working. When I try to copy this formatted JSON, it doesn't work. It prints nothing. Now you're probably wondering, let's write a prompt and ask for a fix. I want to suggest something else. As you know, when working on a real project, generated AI code has to be reviewed carefully. That's why we're going to add an indicator that shows us if the issue is fixed. I asked Cloud Code to generate a test that is failing because of this issue, and it generated it for me. When running these tests, it failed as expected. Next, we want to ask the LLM to find the root cause and solve this issue. We'll also mention the specific test we created, so the LLM will know if the issue is solved. As you can see here, he found the bug and corrected it. Let's ask it to run the tests again. Now, our tests are running without failures. But, let's take it to the next level. After we found the bug and solved it with confidence, an extra mile here can save you a lot of time and effort. We should ask the LLM to take care of these two critical points. Is the bug happening in other places in my codebase? and make sure it doesn't break something else. In our example, it found the same issue in other copy buttons. For instance, in the UUID generator page. Because this task is repetitive, we should save it for future execution as well. With Cloud Code, you can create sub-agent with these instructions. What I love about the sub-agents feature is that each sub-agent has its own context. So the context is pure and not polluted with other info. With cursor, you can set custom slash command. And with codex, you can set something similar that's called custom prompts. Another pro tip here is if you're running a command and it throws an error, you can execute it within the AI agent. And the error with it, its trace will be attached without the need for copy paste. In our example, it ran the playwright tests and figured out that it has a timeout issue. Because it was executed in Cloud Code, it immediately tried to solve it. If you're new here, I'm helping developers turn AI into everyday workflow, so sub and like for more content like this. The next method is so simple, but a lot of developers are not using it. The majority of you are not working alone, you're contributing to a project with multiple developers. This means that usually when a new bug emerges, you have two Git branches. The first one is your production, for example, master, and the second one is the branch without this change. In that case, we can use the AI for one of the things he does best, explaining code. With Cloud Code, you can use the review command, like this. In our example, add the bug you encountered and mention which branches you want him to investigate. Codex also has its own review command. It comes with more options. Review against the base branch. Review uncommitted changes. Review a comment and custom review instructions. With cursor, you have the git option that allows you to tag the branches and write a prompt in the chat. The next method is great if you're facing front-end bugs from time to time. With browser MCP, you can connect your AI agent with the browser and let it check the issues by himself. But it's much more than doing the checks for you. It collects the right context for debugging and solving the issue. The installation is very simple. You just need to configure this MCP. A pro tip here is to mention the usage of this MCP within the project rules, cloud.md file or agents file. So the AI agent will know it can use this tool if needed. Debugging with AI agents is awesome, but those usage limits can be so annoying. In this video, I'll show you how I avoid hitting those limits and it works with any coding agent you're using. That's it for today, drop a comment if you want me to cover other workflows.